Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're going to get straight into it. 133 favorite artists. So what's that all about, 133 favorite? I just made a list, a bunch of discographies, and that's where I landed. And so what's the criteria? First thing is 80-minute playlists. So it has to be all killer, no filler. So there's people like Elvis Presley that are not on my list because I couldn't come up with 80 minutes of Elvis that I just thought was, you know, four, 30, 40 minutes Elvis, I'm good. But So these are the people that I really like with good discographies. And uh, sometimes if there's a band that just did a couple albums like television, they're not on the list either. So it has to be somebody that I think's got a, you know, a fairly deep catalog. And then what's live experience and do I buy books or read magazine articles on them? So this is number 97, I believe, today. Is that correct? Let me double check that. We are on number... Sorry about this. I want to make sure I get this accurate. Yes, we are on number 97. And this is a band from London, okay, that's considered prog rock and prog pop. And they formed, I think, in 1970, but they didn't have a lot of success until around the early to mid-70s. And then they were around maybe till the 90s, and then they kind of imploded. And they're from London, and I love them. Uh, in terms of engineering, they've got some albums produced by people like Ken Scott, who did Ziggy Stardust. And they're just stellar uh, audiophile albums. So we're talking about the band Super Tramp. And by the way, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. I've got a Patreon link below. You can support me there. I've also got a playlist. You know, I mentioned that I made 80-minute playlists. The playlist for this artist is down below. But yeah, Super Tramp. I have owned almost all of their catalog on vinyl. I had Crime of the Century, Crisis What Crisis, Even in the Quietest Moments, Breakfast in America, and Paris, the double live album. But I sold all of those um, over the years, and now I just have this anthology, A&M Classics Volume 9. This is very nice. Very nice. It's not in sequence. I mean, it starts with... Um, Goodbye Stranger and the Log Logical Song. So it starts with some of their popular tracks from Breakfast in America, but then it goes to Bloody Well Right. And it ends with Cannonball, one of their later uh, tracks. So, yeah, this is really good. Um, and I've never seen them live, but uh, nor have I seen any of the solo members, like Roger Hodson has done solo work. So, no, I've never seen them. Um, but I think they're more of a studio band. I mean, I've listened to their live material and it's good, but it always seems like their albums are uh, kind of their strong suit. And what do I like about them? Well, I mean, the instrumentation is out of this world. You take a song like, um, you know, some of the, like Crime of the Century, which is not on here, by the way, but the title track of Crime of the Century or school. These are just uh, awesome tracks that are just uh, ear candy, absolute ear candy, and wonderful keyboards and sax and bass, and everybody's a stellar player, and then the recording and engineering is just top-notch. And, and I love it. And there's a lot of humor and a lot of darkness, too. Like, um, you know, there's uh, songs really about kind of being... A rambling man or a womanizer, you know, there's some pretty dark themes in their music. Uh, so anyway, this combination of prog rock and pop is just irresistible. Love Super Tramp. Let me know what you think. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.